Good morning, everybody. Well, <clears throat> we're taking out the last Jersey Wakefield cabbage this morning. We've been eating them. I don't know how, I don't remember when we planted them. It's been a while. This is the last one and it's the biggest one. Hi, Fez. Say hi to Fez. Hi, buddy. Okay, he's, he's shy. Not really. All right, Jay's in here already picking. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, guys. Did you get carrots, Jay? They're over there. Well, we have carrots. Some carrots this morning. So those, uh, that's from the video, carrots in under four minutes. It's actually from the earth, but we, you know, the carrots are from the earth, but they were made famous in the video. <clears throat> carrots in under four minutes. So this is the last early Jersey Wakefield cabbage. It's a, it's a monster. We had eight in here. Two got eaten by rodents. Two I think got taken out by, they might have gotten infested by aphids. And then the other two we've eaten. Three, the other three, two. I don't know, I don't know how many that is. I think we planted eight or something like that. But anyway, we've only gotten three or four. Well, it's not a very smooth video this morning, Jay. Yeah, I know, some days aren't like that. But anyway, we're going to take the big cabbage out. He'll, uh, he'll get the leaves. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah, look at that beauty. Man, that's heavy. Ooh. It's a monster. That's gotta weigh 10 pounds. I mean, it's gonna get a lot of leaves taken off, but a lot. All right, let's go feed Fez some leaves. Hey, Fez, you want some cabbage leaves? About five pounds. About five pounds. Jay says she thinks the cabbage weighs about five pounds. And just in case you're all are curious out there, you can run a Great Pyrenees on cabbage. They're also pretty fond of carrots. Pumpkins, loves pumpkins. Any of the brassicas really. Which is good because he eats a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's such a delicate flower. But just the crunchy bits. Just the crunch. Yeah, you only you really just want the stems. So you gotta pick through for the stems. The ants get the rest. So yeah, the ants get the rest. Nobody's gonna take your cabbage away, buddy. It's your... All right, let's go check out the arroyo. Hi, Ruby. <clears throat> okay. Dun, dun, dun. Meanwhile, back in the Arroyo. Well, you all probably saw that video, corn in the Arroyo. It's really corn and beans and sunflowers and squash we got planted down there. We got rained out halfway through. We got, we got the uh, corn in on one day and then it rained so hard that the Arroyo flooded. And think that that would happen quite so soon so it's a little bit of a question whether or not <clears throat> the parts that got that the water ran and we're gonna wash the corn out or whether or not it was gonna come up so I think we can answer that question today and also we've got uh, we got back down there we got the earthway unjammed I left it I had left it out hey there's Dennis I had left it outside and it filled up with crap and then I was trying to real quick like plant some beans before the rain started and then it just got too rainy so but anyway I got it unjammed cleaned up and planted some beans and then we also planted sunflowers and squash 
So, you can see we got a bunch of beans up. And these are, uh, you know, it's a mixture of dragon tongues and rattlesnakes, which are, uh, I never remember which is which, but it's a pole bean and a bush bean, both. So we just uh, had a bunch of really old seed, actually. And so we just planted it, figuring, well, we'll see what happens. And so we've definitely got a bunch of beans up. They were the first to jump up. And then we've got sunflowers. And these are the big like mammoth sunflowers, I think. We grew them a few years ago and then Jay said seed. And so again, we had some, some of that laying around and it's already grown here. So maybe it'll do extra good because it's already been here. And uh, familiar with the micro, the microbiome. Already got some microbes on its seeds. And then uh, you can see here, we've got corn up all along here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So there's corn popping up all over the place. And the holes that were open that didn't get filled in from the water flowing, the corn all started sprouting pretty much right away. And I think I saw that there was, you can see these little beauties. Hi, thanks for being here. So the corn's all popping up. And that is just so darn exciting. And I think I saw some corn popping up. Yep. Out there where it flooded, so it didn't wash our corn away. So that means all through this area over here we could have corn pop up my camera work sucks today I'm sorry um, and then Jay said she thought she saw a squash up so let's see if we can find the squish I had seen one that was just about ready to pop up the other day I think this is one just uh, just emerging right here There's another hole right here. I don't know. Well, you probably can't see that. They're just starting to bend up in there. There's one. It's a squash up. That is, uh, those are all Hubbards that we planted down here. We have kabochas planted up by the hoop house. We have a popcorn up there. And then this is all. Well, hawk and dent corn down here. So we'll see. We're, you know, there's rumors that we could have more moisture. So we'll see what happens. Don't want to get too too flippant about that sort of thing. But there's little corns popping up out here. So that's pretty darn exciting. Corn's up. Not sure. There's a bunch of nut hatches down here the other day in this uh, pinon right here. Or it's Ponderosa. And uh, they seemed like a bunch of fledglings, but they kept flying like really close to me like they were going to land on my hat. It's pretty rad. Hi, Jay. Okay, I'm going to end this video so I don't have to... Well, I don't want to end it now because you're here, but I don't want to edit. <laughs> I want to check it out. We still haven't spoken about the sheep yet either. We can do that next time. We could do that next time. It's like a cliffhanger. What do they mean about sheep? Are they real? Are they electric? Tell you what. We had we got sheep and we've had an electric fence up, uh, electric netting to keep them in smaller paddocks, and then we just move them every week or ten days. We just have two sheep, but physics <laughs> was very curious about the sheep and a little bit aggressive, and ran and stuck his nose on the fence, and then he did it again. And you know he's like the boss of this place. You know, he's supposed to pee. he pees on all the fences and stuff, so. That was pretty hard for his ego. He's whining right now. He's tougher than he sounds. Um, so he's he's really weirded out by the sheep and he's 
it's convinced that they have energy weapons that they've used on them twice now. Um, but the sheep, uh, well, they come from a farm where there's a dog just like Fez, <laughs> who they live with and is their guardian. So they think Fez is like a rock star, so they want to follow him around, and he's really freaked out by the sheep. So it's pretty funny. He's working through it, though. He is a guardian dog. The instincts are in there, we're sure. Pretty sure. We're pretty sure. We're pretty sure. <laughs> we're pretty sure the instincts are in there. So we'll, we'll keep you updated on that.